great. Today is Thursday, October. Repeat it conmigo. October 9th. 2020. We started a new month. Yesterday was Wednesday, September 30. But today is Thursday, October 1. We started a new month and we also started from the bottom. Number one. Empezamos desde el principio. Número uno. Octubre, uno. So, in our English class yesterday, we were talking about characters of a story. Characters of a story. What are characters? ¿Qué son? ¿Qué de personajes? Los que están dentro de una historia. The ones that are inside a story. The ones that are in a movie. Los que están también dentro de una película. Characters are the people that help us to make a story or see a movie. Son las personas, ¿verdad?, que nos ayudan a tener una historia y también hacer películas. Without characters, there's nothing. Sin personajes no hay nada. No puede existir un cuento, libro, película, nada. Así que es muy importante todo lo que haya a su alrededor, ya sea película, libro, cuentos, siempre debe de tener un personaje, ¿ok? Characters, personaje, characters. So, we also talk about beginning, middle, and ending. I told you yesterday that every story, every movie, have to have an order. Debería tener todos los cuentos, películas, un orden. Un orden para entonces, ¿verdad? Todo tenga coherencia. So everything, ¿verdad? Makes sense. Beginning is inicio. El comienzo. ¿Cómo empieza la historia, el cuento, la película? Mero. ¿Qué es lo que pasa durante la historia, cuento, película? Y end or ending, final. ¿Cómo se termina el cuento, la película, lo que estás leyendo? Beginning, inicio. ¿Cómo empieza? Mero, ¿qué está pasando durante la historia? Y end, ¿qué pasa al final? Yesterday we read Goldilocks story, the girl with the three bears, la niña de que estaba con los tres ositos, ¿se acuerdan? The beginning, she was walking and she went inside a house. Ella al principio estaba caminando y se metió dentro de la casa de los oso, of the bears. Then, a la mitad, al medio, desarrollo, she ate the food, she broke the chair, she fell asleep in their beds. In the end, all the bears came in the house and found the girl. Todos los osos entraron a la casa y encontraron a la niña durmiendo. She was sleeping. And the little baby bear invited her to play with. And that was all. See, we had beginning, middle, and ending. That we talked yesterday. Today, we are going to be talking about multiple meaning words. Multiple meaning words are words that have more than one meaning. Palabras múltiples son palabras que tienen más de un significado. Por ejemplo, en inglés, pet. Pet has more than one meaning. Pet can 
be an animal that lives with people. Pet puede ser una, un animal que vive con las personas. But pet can be when you gently touch something. Pet animal o tocar suavemente. Vieron? We have the word, another example, watch. Watch. Watch has more than one meaning. It could be a reloj or just watch. Ve. Reloj, velar o ver. Watch. I'm going to watch you. I'm watching you. I'm watching, ¿verdad? Esa es la palabra que utilizamos, watch. But I also can say, oh, look at my watch. Miren mi reloj. I am watching you. Watch. But look at my watch. ¿Sí? Dos significados, una sola palabra. We have the word step. Step. Step significa paso. Da un paso al frente. Step. But also step means escalón, la escalera. Sí. Step. Un paso adelante. Step it to the front. Step back. Step to the side. Step to the other side. But I went down the stairs. So if I went down the stairs, I'm going to step down, step down, step down, step. So step, paso. O escalón. We have the word play. Repite conmigo. Play. Play significa jugar. I want to play with you. Yo quiero jugar contigo. Play, jugar. But also, play significa obra de arte. I'm going to see a play of a girl that is a princess. Voy a ver una obra de arte de una niña que es una princesa. Obra de arte, it's also called a play. Una obra de un teatro donde la gente actúa y esas cosas. A play. Play, obra de teatro. Y also, jugar. ¿Vieron? Las palabras no solamente significan una sola cosa, podemos utilizar diferentes significados mientras utilizamos una palabra. So, that's multiple meaning words. And last, we are going to discuss some vocabulary words. Vocabulary words. We are going to be soon reading the story Family show. The family show. Let's see the pictures. This is a man. Hmm, he is juggling. What do we see here? What do you think she's doing? What do you think? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? ¿Qué creen? She looks like she's dancing. We have another man. The same man. Tenemos un hombre, el mismo ahorita. He is juggling, jugando, ¿verdad? Ooh, we have a girl dressed as a princess. Tenemos una niña vestida de princesa. We have a boy, what is he doing? He is whistling. We have a lady, she looks like she is singing, but we have a man, he is playing the piano. Oh, and we have a family here. Hmm, 
what do you think this story will be about? I'm not gonna read it. We're gonna read it tomorrow. But before we read the story, I'm going to tell you a few vocabulary words so you can learn. And tomorrow when we read the story, you can understand what I am saying, okay? Les voy a decir unas palabras de vocabulario antes de comenzar nuestro cuento para que se las aprenda y entonces mañana cuando yo esté hablando del cuento usted pueda reconocer y entender lo que yo estoy hablando en inglés. Así que vamos a decir las palabritas. We have word number one, audience. Audience, repite conmigo. Audience. Audience. What is audience? Audiencia. Audience is the group of people who watch a play or a show. Audiencia son un grupo de personas que observan, que ven un show o una obra de arte. Segunda palabra, we have bow. Bow. When you bow, you bend down from your waist. When you ah, not bow, it's bow, bow. For example, we are done doing our play, and when we finish, we bow, bow, a bow. See, eso es bow, bow. Wow. On Halloween, you wear a costume to look like someone else. Costume. Costume. Cuando es Halloween, nos ponemos un disfraz. Costume. Costume. Repite conmigo. Costume. Disfraz. Palabra número cuatro. Entertain. Repite conmigo. Entertain. Otra vez. Entertain. Entertain. Entertain means entretener. Singing and dancing are two ways that you can entertain a person. Bailando y cantando es una forma de entretener a las personas que te están observando, ¿verdad que sí? Performance, performance. ¿Qué es eso? Una actuación. Performance is an act or show done in front of people. Performance, que es actuación, es un acto que tú haces frente a personas. Frente a la persona. We have the word talents. Talents. Talentos. Do you have a talent? ¿Tú tienes un talento? For example, I like to sing, so that's my talent. You have a talent. Which is which one is your talent? Hmm, think about it and then you can let me know. Seven, we have the word juggle. Juggle. What is juggle, Missy? Juggle. Vamos a ver si me sale. Juggle. Woo! Juggle, 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 juggle. This. Ay. That is juggle. Juggle. You keep balls up in the air by throwing them with one hand and catching them with other. Like this. Like, like he's doing. Next one, we have act. Act is actuar. La acción, actuar. I'm going to act as a princess. Voy a actuar como una princesa. Oh, good evening, my friends. I hope you're doing well. Oh, that's me acting as a princess. Eso soy yo actuando como una princesa. Actuar, act. Next one, we have whistle. 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 Do you know how to whistle?
eso? ¿Sabes cómo pitar? You don't know? Well, it's very easy. You just put your mouth like this and blow. It's a high pitched sound made by blowing air through your teeth and lips. Then we have the last word is clap. 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 Clap with me. Clap. 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 You hit your hands together. So. What are you going to do today? You're going to do two things. Dos cositas. Vas a escribir las palabras de vocabulario que discutimos en el día de hoy en tu libreta. Yo te voy a enviar las palabras más bonitas porque aquí no se entiende muy bien. Y vamos a realizar página 14, page 14 of our workbooks. And you are going to drop pictures to represent two different meanings of each word. We have the word watch. I told you that watch has more than one meaning. So we can draw a watch, dibujar un reloj, but we can also draw a person watching something. Alguna persona viendo algo, viendo te el televisor, haciendo algo con su vista. Step, step. Podemos dibujar a alguien dando un paso. Adelante. ¿Verdad que sí? But we can also draw a person going up the stairs or going down the stairs. Podemos el que esté dibujar a alguien dando pasos. Como que también podemos dibujar a alguien subiendo o bajando de la escalera. And we have the word play. Play, we can draw somebody playing. Podemos dibujar a alguien que está jugando. Como que también podemos dibujar a este una obra de arte. ¿Verdad qué? Significa play, lo mismo. Así que that will be all for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Well, Monday. Bye.